Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today, since it's coming up to Halloween, I've done a double bill special on how to draw and paint a pumpkin. So for the drawing, you will need some plain white paper, you will need a pencil, a pen and a razor. And for the painting, if you've got some watercolour paper, that's really good, but you can just use some plain white paper if you don't have any. And some watercolour paints. I've just got this little travel kit that's super useful. I take it everywhere that I go. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start off our pumpkin by doing a nice big oval shape in the centre of the page. So this does not have to be perfect. Just a nice big shape like this. Remember, we're going to erase these lines. These are just preparatory lines. And don't forget to pause the video in between stages and rewind if you need to. There's absolutely no problem with doing that. Okay, so there's our oval shape. Next, we're going to be drawing a curved line just towards the top of the oval shape, just there. Now we're going to draw the stalk. So a line coming up like this to so there. Then we're going to draw it coming round. This is the top part of the stalk and then it comes back down to there. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to be drawing the actual shape of the pumpkin. So we've just started off with a nice big oval shape, but if we draw a line coming up to there, joining up with this oval shape, and the same on the other side. Joins up with the oval shape, and it comes all the way around. And then the bottom isn't actually flat, so we're gonna give it a little bit of a dip at the bottom. Just like that. There we go. Excellent. Next, we're going to be drawing a line, just a freehand line, just coming straight down, just like that. So we're going to be drawing a curved line, just around that straight line. And this side of the curved line is going to bend this way. And this side of the curved line is going to bend this way. Okay, so we're going to carry on following the shape of these lines. So on this side, they're all going to curve this way around. So let's do the next one. It's going to curve all the way around like that. On this side, they're going to curve this way around. So do another one, curving this way around. And then, as you guessed it, the same, just like that. And then the same on this side. Okay, fabulous. So next I'm going to go over it quickly in pen and erase the pencil lines and then we'll add some more detail. Okay, so I've erased all the pencil lines and I've gone over it in pen. Let's start doing some details. So starting at the bottom of this stalk, we'll just draw some lines going upwards, going diagonally, just to give it a little bit of texture. So these are kind of winding around the stalk. It's got some kind of grooves in it. It is a groovy stalk. Ha 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 ha. Sorry about the bad joke. Okay, anyway, here we go. There we go. Fantastic. So we can add a little bit of shadow just by using diagonal lines on the left hand side because the right the light, sorry, is coming from the right hand side. There we go. Excellent. And then we'll have a little bit of shadow just on the side. This one here, just draw a couple of little lines. And then the same on this one. A couple of little lines here. And the same on this one. A few more at the bottom. So lots of diagonal lines. Just very lightly in your pen or pencil. And then just round here, round the bottom. There we go, and just a few more at the top. There we go, just one more here. Okay, now we're just going to draw some shadow underneath this pumpkin and we are almost done. Just lots of nice horizontal lines. There we go, just to show that the pumpkin's sitting on something. 
Okay, so there's our finished pumpkin drawing. Stay watching and I'm going to show you how to paint this pumpkin in watercolours. Okay, so super, super lightly in pencil, I'm just going to just draw out my pumpkin shape. Just kind of just follow the tutorial that I just did now on how to draw a pumpkin. I'm just doing mine really, really lightly. You may not even be able to see this on camera, but just to show me where I'm going to do all the different parts. Show myself, I meant not show me. Okay, so I hope you can see this. I'm going to mix up a nice orange color. So I'm using this nice cadmium yellow, really lovely yellow color. I'm gonna mix it in with this kind of yellow ochre just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural looking, you know, those earthy tones. And then a tiny bit of this red, that seems like a nice color. Add plenty of water. And then I'm going to start the first segment. So I'm going to do this in segments. So here's the first segment, loads of water, lots of paint. Just do like a curved line coming all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna add in a bit more orange color. Here we go. So it's this first segment. It's like segments of an orange. Just think of it like that. We're gonna do each of the segments of the pumpkin. I'm gonna get them just right in the right colors. And then we'll go on to the next segment. I hope that makes sense. So some nice brown at the bottom of this one, just to show the shadow areas. There we go. And a little bit of brown around the side. All right, so the next segment to the left hand side is going to be a little bit darker. So I'm adding a bit more brown. Here we go. And some of that nice earthy yellow ochre as well. So next segment, I'm actually going to leave a white gap in between the two segments. I'll show you what I mean. OK, so you've got to be slightly careful that they don't join completely. So very, very slowly and carefully. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. You're going, yeah, right. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit more brown just to the bottom bit. Just to give it that nice earthy tone. So random fact of the day, did you know that traditionally in Ireland and Scotland, a turnip was used at Halloween and they carved that out. But then when um, immigrants went to North America from Ireland, um, they used the native pumpkin and there are a lot more of them in America. And these are much larger and easier to carve. So that's why we use pumpkins today. There you go, full of useful, useless facts for you. <laughs> okay, so let's carry on with these segments. Next one's here. So again, I'm going to leave this white line in between. It's just a stylistic choice. It's not something that you have to do or you don't have to do. It's just something that I choose to do because I think it looks quite nice. So there we go. There we are. Brilliant. Okay, I think I'm going to start on the other side before I finish that side off. So using, um, I'm doing quite um, a lighter colour here. Um, it's got a lot more yellow in it. So let's draw this other segment here. There we go. Alright, see this side's slightly lighter because it's um, got more sunlight on it. It's much easier if you have an actual pumpkin in front of you to copy. Or you could use a photograph, whatever's to hand. So there we go. I do like drawing and painting from life. So I find that you get the shadows. They, they turn out a lot better if you actually do it from life. But obviously, you know, if you don't have a pumpkin to hand, a photograph will do, won't it? So I'm just adding a little bit more brown in this one, just because the bottom part's in shadow. There we go. What lovely autumnal colours. That's why I love watercolour. You can get these amazing colours. I need to add a little bit more water to this one, I think. There we go. Brilliant. So, there we go. Just make it a nice round shape. Just going to perfect the top bit of this one. It needs to come out a little bit more. There we go. Got it now. 
Brilliant. Okay, now we're going to go to the stalk. So just give my paintbrush a wash, dry it. I always have a piece of um, toweling paper just so I can dry it and get rid of the other colours. So let's start with this nice yellow ochre colour again. I use that colour a lot. Okie dokie, and a little bit of this green. Obviously you can make up your own green using yellow and blue, which I will do as well. A little bit of blue to this. Okay, fabulous. So again, not touching the actual pumpkin. We're going to leave a little gap in between them. I'm going to draw the stalk. There we go. So just kind of almost touching, but leaving a nice gap. Just, um, paint it like this. Okay, I'm making this mixture a lot darker, so lots of dark blues, dark green. This side's going to be much darker. Okay, just like that. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm just going to draw some shadow on the ground. Again, not touching the pumpkin. Just to show the pumpkin's not flying in the air. adding lots of water so it blends nicely. There we go. And there's our finished pumpkin painting. Hope you've enjoyed these two tutorials. If you have, please hit subscribe and like, and I really hope to see you on the next one. Check out the other videos that are popping up now.